So what we've done is we've tried to shine the same color of light, if you will, on an anti-hydrogen atom that we would use for hydrogen to see if it responds in the same way. In particular, is the frequency of that light, really the color, the same exact frequency that you would use to in interact with atoms of hydrogen? And the answer so far is yes. When we went looking at the place where we expect to see an effect in hydrogen, we see an effect in antihydrogen. Now, what really matters here and, and for the future is how precisely you do that measurement, right? So right now we have a precision of a few parts in 10 billion, right? We hope to get much, much better than that. The precision with hydrogen is a few parts in a thousand trillion. So for me as an antimatter physicist, it'd be fair to say that this is a dream come true. This is what I set out to do more than 20 years ago, to actually look at this transition in, in anti-hydrogen. There's a lot more work to do, but, but I can say that this, this is the biggest step in, in my career, in, in the history of this type of experiment. This is what we set out to do. This is what the machine was designed to do. There's a lot more work to come, and, and it opens up a whole new branch of physics, if you will. Salut. Salut. <laughs>